it takes longer to put two cans of gas in the car than it does to change four tires. Tom, you just make sure it's full, and then you nod your head, towel will go off, you nod, I'll watch traffic. Yes, we're used to seeing more tire changes. Good, you're certainly used to seeing a lot more tire changes. Gas only when we pit, windshield tear off. But the lack of those really didn't become a factor in the race because the pit stops were all about how long does it take to get all the fuel you need. So here they come for what could be the next to last pit stop of this Daytona 500. It's only here, pit, pit, pit. Martin Truax is going to pit. He's not going to take tires on this stop or the next one or the one after that. They're going to run this set of tires for the entire duration of the Daytona 500. I think when you see as few tire changes as we saw in the Daytona 500, that's an unusual scenario. It definitely changes the way the event has to be strategized. Uh, what you're doing is you're running a fuel strategy rather than uh, putting fresh tires on the car. It really took away the need for the mechanics to set the cars up for handling. Not many tire changes among the first ones to pit road. Joey Logano is going to take at least right sides. Krista? Same strategy for his teammate, Kyle Busch. Right side tires for Kyle. Okay, hey, jack down, jack down. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, 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 oh. One, 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 one. All right, there you go. There you go. Nice seat. There you go. I'm just watching the gas man's hand. He starts not, and I'm going. Yeah, 10 point. I've always thought that tires should be the least of your worries. And certainly at Daytona this year, they were. I may I, TJ, to let, once if we team up like it again, let the lead car spot for the back car. That second place car, or the pusher, just had to say to himself, look, you know, I've got to hold it to the floor until the lead car tells me not to anymore. So that's a trust that you had to have working with each other. Green flag, 72 laps to go. About three quarters of the way through the race, uh, I was racing, I had uh, David Reagan pushing me. Carl's with us now, coming outside. And we went through the tri-oval, and I s stuck my left front on the flat, you know, de-wedged the car, and I was sideways, and I thought, this is it, our day's over. I thought for sure I was wrecked. Woo! Sorry about that, David. Back off of you. That was perfect, thanks. Watch the 99 of Carl Edwards. Right behind the orange car, Robbie Gordon. And, and look, whoa! He, he's turned plumb sideways right there. <laughs> and he got not below the double yellow line. And that was his teammate, David Reagan, in the six. David, he let off, and I got it corrected, and it all worked out. But man, my heart rate was it was through the roof right then. Guy in front of Matt, can't pick a lane. Easy, easy. Cautions out, cautions out, cautions out. Oh, yeah. Biffle tried to get back down in behind him and didn't time it right. Well, that is Pretty vicious hit. Here it is on our Fox Exmo cam. And did you see how close he came to taking Montoya out? Trouble on the racetrack. And it is Montoya crashing along with Greg Biffle. about synchronized racing and synchronized spinning right there look at montoya the car control locks the brake waits on it waits on it unlocks the brake to make the turn to pit road while biffle is headed for the grass like a snow plow going through there. there yeah into the wall goes kozlowski Stay low, get on the apron, now on the apron. Every quarter, check it. We still want five seconds of fuel, so I might put rights on it, just because we have to wait on fuel anyway, you know? Okay. Pit road's open, and here they all come. Three, two, one, on the jack, right side. You're clear. You're clear. Hamlin's coming out. There's Trevor Bain just squeaking in. Keselowski trying to get to his pit. In my line of work, speed is, well, crucial. That's why I have my new AT&T 4G phone. Perfect for watching movies and TV shows when I'm on the go. I get thousands of Android apps. And 4G capability.